Hello. I have just recently gotten into Roblox game development. I had started my game development journey around a month ago, learning the basics of scripting, and I posted week one of my journey for those wishing to see it. Uh, links down below. I also recently created a tutorial series here on YouTube, which you should totally watch right now. I created it, admittedly, because I wanted to understand some of the core mechanics of scripting and what better way to learn something than a teaching it. But I soon came to the conclusion that making tutorials is not very fun. Wait, what? And so I embarked on a new quest, the quest of creating my very own game, my dream game. I knew that I needed to figure out one important thing before I started, which was what my game was even going to be about. I decided on creating a horror game. Because those are really fun to play, in my opinion, and I figure, can't be that hard to make. <laughs> yeah, boy, was I wrong. I had to decide what this game was going to be about, and I decided on a fun little concept of cute killer animals that chase you while you try to escape a certain location, like a farm, house, etc. Definitely hasn't been done before. The main character for this game is going to be a rabbit named Mr. Hops, a cute little bunny. Maybe. The first thing I did was open up Roblox Studio. Then, I knew I would need to model a humanoid bunny figure thing. I modeled for quite some time, trying to get the, the bunny to look just right. More than I'd like to admit, actually, it took me over an hour to finish this. I am by no means a good modeler. Or an efficient one. I came out with this. Not gonna lie, it doesn't look awful. It looks pretty cute, right? I'd sure like to hug. Oop, never mind. I messed around for quite some time with adding like blood effects and all sorts of things to it, and then I put it on Reddit. Each comment said that my rabbit was looking too goofy, was too vibrant, and was not scary at all. And the blood I put on it made it look even worse, so this is my new, and hopefully, improved version of Mr. Hops. Yeah. Yeah. The next step, I knew I would need to face my greatest fear, Rig. Or rigging. No, not an oil rig, I mean like rigging a character to animate. I tried in the past, on Blender, but to no avail. I've never been a modeler, rigger, or animator, I'm just not good at it. But, for the time being, I knew I would need to step up and do it. I opened up the plugin I found, and got to work. So I decided to switch it up and save the animating for later. I created a roaming system, or at least I tried to, but for some reason, my Mr. Hops was not actually moving. He was supposed to move from green square to the next until the player comes into sight, and then, hopefully, Mr. Hops would attempt to uh, chase him and kill him. But, for some reason, that was not working. So, please tell me in the comments or the Discord server why the heck that's not working. Anyways, that's all I really have for this dev devlog. If you want sneak peeks at upcoming features like monsters, maps, join the Discord, and also help me with the game, um, join the Discord. I post sneak peeks of all these things and ask questions, and you can ask questions as well if you have any questions. But that's about all for this devlog. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and you won't miss the next devlog. Goodbye.